This is the Ezer. This machine is tailor-made for drilling Ezer and media holes. Compared to other solutions, it has excellent mobility and versatility, delivering far superior productivity. Race boring has been used for a long time as a very effective way of drilling various large holes, including Ezer holes. The limitations with the traditional race boring machine is time, not drilling time, but rather the setup time required for the operation. For instance, you need to build a solid foundation to support the rig. Our mission with the Ezer has been to simplify the operation. We are combining two products into one. The Ezer is quite simply a race boring rig on a sim back carrier. So what are the benefits? The setup procedure doesn't require any site preparation. All the necessary operating equipment, except the drill rods, are part of the carrier. Just connect electrical power and water and the Easter is ready. As easy as that. The challenge for miners using any stoping or caving method is to get that first stope blasted. An unsuccessful blast can, in the worst case, lead to an entire section being abandoned, leaving behind valuable ore. This is where the ESA shines compared to other solutions. The ESA produces opening or ESA holes with a maximum diameter of 750 millimeters and a hole depth of up to 60 meters. The ESA uses standard eight inch boring rods with a nine inch pilot bit. This solution is the most effective and productive way to a successful blast. The ESA has the same drill modes as a traditional race boring machine. Box hole, down reaming and conventional race boring. A box hole can be drilled in two different ways. Either you start with drilling a pilot hole, then the string is pulled back and the reamer is connected. The pilot hole acts as a guide to the reamer. This method gives a really straight hole even when drilling long holes. Or the pilot and the reaming hole are drilled simultaneously. This saves time but is not as accurate. To switch from box hole drilling to down reaming, the hydraulic hoses are disconnected from the gearbox. Then the gearbox is rotated 180 degrees. The hoses are reconnected and the easer is in the new mode. This is a simple operation that can be carried out in an underground workshop. When drilling downwards, you always need to start with a pilot hole so that the muck has somewhere to go. Then you either use the traditional raised boring method, pulling the reamer upwards, or as seen here, ream the hole downwards. Okay, let's have a closer look at the Ezer. Starting here with the derrick. Eight powerful hydraulic cylinders firmly lock the machine in place during operation. This eliminates the need to build a foundation for each new setup. When the derrick is in position, it is disconnected from the carrier. This is to prevent the vibrations to spread from the derrick to the carrier. The crosshead consists of a planetary gearbox driven by an hydraulic motor. And together with the thrust cylinders, the machine produces 50 kilonewton meters of torque and 600 kilonewton of thrust. All the branches are hydraulically operated. The ones here and here are integrated to the work table and can be open, allowing the reamer to pass through. When the Ezer is drilling a box hole, as seen here, it is protected by a muckshot that is integrated on top of the derrick. It can be raised 7 cm and has integrated water nozzles for dust suppression. The slider can move the derrick 600 mm in both directions. This makes it very easy to position the easer on the drill hole. The derrick can tilt 60 degrees and the swing unit can rotate the derrick 90 degrees in both directions, right and left. This gives a very large covering area and gives the easy the ability to drill in all directions. To load the pipes, we have this crane operated from this radio remote. The whole loading cycle 
is done from a safe place, here or even inside the cabin, and no manual labor is required. The power pack is integrated with the carrier and can provide enough hydraulic power to keep this machine drilling no matter what. The engine is a straight six-cylinder diesel with plenty of torque. It carries up to 200 meter of power cable and 70 meter of water hose for cooling and bailing. Of course, the ESER is designed with productivity in mind. The daily maintenance can be carried out by the operator on site. The ESER is indeed a complete mobile race boring system. Now I think it's time to take your first spin. The operation is controlled by a computerized rig control system, which allows fully automated drilling. It presents the operator with uh, relevant information and logs machine data. And, of course, it increases productivity. The ergonomics of the cabin are superb, from the layout of the levers to the comfortable seat. The cabin is FOPS and ROPS approved. This rock has a comprehensive strength of 250 megapascal, and now when the machine is drilling, we can expect a penetration rate of approximately 2 meters per hour. This will of course vary depending on rock conditions, but the reamer with its random button cutters is designed to work in most types of rocks. Mobility is a keyword in the design philosophy of the ESO. It is a four-wheel drive articulated carrier and it is surprisingly fast and agile. It is a joy to operate. Try it.